Hey guys, I wanna share something that in the past three days, yesterday, the day before yesterday and today, I've been focused on. The Father put it on my heart and my mind. Um, it was through prayer and, and intercession on his behalf. But let me explain something. And I'm gonna try to say this the best I can without, you know, If you've been watching my channel long enough, you know how I feel about all the deceivers in the world. Whether it's the Pope being a flat-out liar, you know, saying things like, hell is not real, Jesus failed on the cross, we're going to baptize aliens. He, I am flat-out deceiver. Or these political leaders playing both sides, you know, and then purposely misleading millions of Christians, people who love the Lord, and, and using that psyche... You know, that, that fear loss, that loss of, you know, loss of hope, hope to gain, play on both sides to manipulate people's emotions to get them to put their faith in, in these false teachers and deceivers on both sides to, you know, the leaders of the world, of the world being also working towards, you could call the one world religion, I, I, one world order, whatever. I, I see it as a net a net of the evil one and the father put you know gave me that message and i thought about jesus you know when he was casting the net in the ocean he told you know his peter and his and the people in his on his boat to cast the net but it's not the lord doing it it's the evil one tightening the net of evil on the world on humanity and it this this really has been even right now it's very being strongly uh, impressed pressed upon me that these wicked leaders are behind on their agenda. I don't know how or, or what happened, but they are they are behind and they're about to put their foot on the accelerator. You know, I see that I saw that in my mind is like a foot on a gas pedal. You know, all these leaders, you know, frantically running about, you know, to get their to, to destroy every last soul that they can for the evil one. That is the agenda. And I've shared that on my channel. There are two kingdoms, the kingdom of darkness, the kingdom of our Father in heaven. There is no gray area, black or white. And the only way to the Father's kingdom is through the Son, Jesus, Yeshua HaMashiach, the one true Messiah. They are behind on this agenda, and I don't know what's what what is going to happen i have i've had dreams i've been shown things it is not a coincidence that millions of people around the world are seeing the same things being given the same messages i am not special i just i, I just submit myself to the will of someone greater than me the great i am and he he has been faithful and a lot of the things i have not wanted to see because you know it has caused great distress in my soul because i saw things to come and even though I'm, I'm sounding the alarm and I have this means, I, I talk, you know, I've warned people that I know, it seems like it's, it's not enough. I do what I can, but I want you to hear me out. They're going to accelerate this plan. I don't know what. They're so sick in their heads. They are so demented that they're going to use this, this agenda to, you know, as the net tightens. They're going to make it seem that anyone who does not accept this agenda was worthy of death, that was in the way of this agenda. Mankind is going to, I mean, we're already being softened up to not have respect for human life. Look at the world around you. No one has respect. I, it's, it makes me disgusted in my stomach. People that, you know, post videos where someone is mortally wounded and it's like got all these likes. It's like the most disgusting videos you could ever watch. That I don't, I don't even, I can't even watch the whole thing because I don't even know what it is at first. But you see millions of likes on videos that are wicked, and people that speak righteousness and truth and good things, you know, are shadow banned. But I'm telling you, this wicked agenda, they're gonna, it's gonna be like the whole world is going to be manipulated into thinking anyone who didn't go along with this agenda, agenda, if they die. They were worthy of death or who cares about them? You know, as long as we survive. It's going to be that motto, you know, of um, the strongest survive. And it, it's going to, 
it's going to shake up the entire world. You know, I've already, and I don't share this for fear. I share it because we are, we are barreling closer and closer to the return of the Messiah. I truly believe that they are scared to death of the return of Jesus. I, I, I know that, but I think that they know they have a better understand. They understand. And they also, you know, are monitoring people that have prophetic dreams and messages and they know about all this stuff. So they're scared to death. So they're going to push this agenda through so quickly. It's going to happen like over a weekend. You're going to wake up Monday and it's going to be a completely different world. And I don't know what's going to go down. I just pray over your families, stay in prayer, stay convicted through the Holy Spirit, stay upright and the, the spirit of faith is more is has power. Faith in the one who gave his life so that we our chains would be broken from this wicked world. I don't know how to say it better than that. And this acceleration of this agenda, what we consider evil, they're way beyond that. They. They, they believe that they're doing their, their, what they were born to do by sowing evil into the land. Because they believe in the good versus evil paradigm. As far as, you know, their God is evil and good. Whereas my Father in Heaven, there is no darkness in Him. Everything that He does is for the betterment of men and women's souls. I love you guys. I'm praying for everybody. This was just dropped in my lap today. You know, I've got a, not a sense of urgency, but I'm just, I'm praying for everybody. I'm praying for everybody. And I know I'll see you in the clouds. Um, time is shorter than what the world knows. And I keep saying, why don't they see? Why don't they see? Well, these wicked leaders, they know what's coming. They know, and they are terrified. They should be terrified. Because when they go to hide in their caves, we're going to be in the clouds. And when we come back to lift the rocks off of their of their wicked agenda, they're just going to get rebuked right into the lake of fire. And I don't look forward to that day for them, but I, we will be there when judgment is, is handed down to the wicked. And if anyone who, if this video makes it to someone who is on a wicked path, please turn from turn from evil. Stay your hand from it. it. It leads nowhere but to eternal uh, death. The Pope say hell is not real. Who? Were, what a what a devil! What a devil! We got it. We we got to hold on tight in these days. I love you guys. Okay, if I don't talk to you soon, I'll see you in the clouds or see you home. See you at home. And Father, um, in Jesus' name, bless this message to whoever needs to hear. Father, we love you. We can't wait to be with you until then. We'll, everything we have is yours, as it was in the beginning. Love you. Bye, guys.